I just wanted to show a few uh, tools that we didn't go over with polygons and a few uh, uh, ways to work with them. Uh, okay, we saw the uh, all those tools combine, separate, smooth, bowlines. Okay, let's just show quickly bowlines. So it's a it's just a bit of an overview of some new uh, polygon tools uh, that we might use in this case, uh, and we'll do this quite uh, quick. I'm creating two, uh, um, a cube and a sphere. My cube is hiding. I'll put it. Now, the bowlines, what actually a bowlines operation, it's going to cut one through the other. This is very handy to do, although let's say I, I barely use this because it's a very bad topology. There is a, today, the bowline tools are much better. And what it does, let's just see it first. Uh, so I, I have two objects. I'm going to select both of them. And I will just click here on the, whoop, 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 where is I have my bowline. I clicked on the bowline. Now it says the operation. I have union, difference, and intersection. Just to click what happens between. So difference, if you see, it cut my object to exactly went inside. Yeah. Uh, if I go into intersection, it just leaves the parts that are intersecting together. And if I go to union, it's combined together. But if I will now select faces, if it's combined, let's let's just delete those to see what it did. Maybe easier. It cut it by the 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 object I put. So, for example, if I want to cut shapes into shapes, the main problem is that look at here at this uh, topology. This is wrong. I have here a, an edge, an edge, an edge. Nothing is connected. Now, some people work a lot with bowlines and then correct the topology and start using the target weld and and uh, stitching. So, let's say I can take this tool and take this uh, this point to here, this point to here, but then I lose the shape. It's very useful to get a general shape, but I'll just sh show it again. And try this bowling. It's, it's, it's very easy to do. I mean, in a sense, like uh, you'll see in the plane, we'll have to want to add the guns or the shooters inside. You can use bowlines, and then, wow, great, it worked in a second. The main problem why I don't usually use this is because of the topology. Although, You'll see a lot of uh, tutorials this that people use it and then fix the topology manually. It's however you prefer. Now, the the bowline is just it's you know it's to try a few options. It is a very good uh, good uh, tool. But now let's say if I want to fix this topology, there's another thing, um, more exciting tool which we'll show in a bit, how to retopologize things, which is important. So just give it two minutes to try it around. Somebody, it's not working for him. This bowline. It's working fine. You get it. It's just to cut either intersect union or difference. Uh, I'll just delete this. For example, in our plane, we will have create polygon up. We will have these guns that come out from it. Uh, I'll just do it rough. I think in the plane in the front of it, when you look at it, there is four. Yeah, four exactly. So I, I wouldn't necessarily, we can do it like this. Uh, it's very quick. For a model that's not really, uh, that we don't really care about the topology, in a sense it's not for animation, this would work perfect and quick. So it can really save you a lot of time. So now I can take this ball and this one and do a, a bowline operation. And I do the difference. So I get this hole here, for example, if I want to set it up. And so forth. So the same thing. Uh, jumping into the next tool, um, Quadro. Now, Quadro is used a lot for retopologizing. When I say retopology, is for example, you got a very heavy uh, high poly character, and you want to model on top of it a lower poly character in quads. It was modeled badly or whatever. This is a, a tool that I'll show how to use. Uh, so, just take the Quadro, and first of all, you, if you this is uh, if you just click a point, a point is just points in space, and click around a few of them. Now, if I press uh, Shift and stand above it, it shows me quads. It'll only select quads. So if I click Shift and click on the left mouse, it will draw the quad. So now I have actually a polygon here. Another one, another one. Then I can put another point here, 
if I'll click here, I have. I can put two more I have here. So I can draw, actually, let's say when we looked at our plane, we could have just drawn quads. We use the quad tools. A lot of people start modeling directly with the quad tools. It's the ability to draw. Uh, you know, when you guys said, oh, I have a problem with quads, this place, I can never do quads. It's always going to end with a triangle. I think you said th that to me. With a no, I said it's very hard to avoid exactly. And so here now I'll show you a way to how you can really easily, um, if I created a sphere, for example, here I have a triangle. Let's say I want to get rid of these, for example. Yeah. But now this, I'm using a sphere here, but usually you would use a high poly model that you took or a model. What we're going to do is actually first, and this is if you see this magnet uh, here, and you should have it also modify make live. You see this object here, make live. So let's just see what this make live is very powerful for a lot of things. I'm creating this object. Everything will snap to it. So every tool I will draw, uh, especially now if I use the quad draw, it will snap uh, uh, to it. Let's just, I can click here or with the magnet. Sorry if you see here. Once I clicked it, this is live. Yeah, we don't really see much of a difference. I think it's just going to be greenish uh, in the wireframe. But notice now that I use the, the quad draw tool, and I can just point wherever I want. It's drawing it exactly on the surface, on top. So I can just go around this, put points around, and I'm basically I'm doing it very rough, of course. And then I go with the same as I did before with shift. Oh, I clicked something else. Uh huh. Here it is. with shift and I lock in a polygon. So I'm actually creating a new polygon, but it snaps to the shape of the old polygon. I won't go all the way across here. I don't have quads, so it's not. I didn't draw enough lines. And that's it. So now I will make the object. Now remember, if your object is live, you will sometimes have it here, and then you can't click on anything. This live has a lot of properties. You need to take it off in order to see. Now, if I move this out, I created a very low poly version in quads, perfect quads, not the nicest, of one part of the sphere, which I think will be very useful in any case. Uh, let's do a cylinder again. OK. These are just to show the tools, but you should try to do it with me. If your mouse is not like mine, that's just. I just did a cylinder, and I will add divisions just to make it very quick, although they're going to be. So remember to add divisions. I will go when I create it in the inputs on my channel uh, box. And I will just say here 8, let's say. And caps, I will do 0 for fun. So I just created uh, this. I will a bit change the shape. So I can illustrate this idea. OK. Let's say I have a model uh, that I don't know what this looks like, whatever. But I have a, um, this model is fine. This is a, I am happy with the shape of it. I don't want to change the shape. But what I do want to change is I'm saying, oh, I don't want this edge here. Because I have some the wing of the plane I'm connecting here. And I want to have another um, edge. Uh, the, this edge, I want to move it down here. But if I will go now into edges, double click so I take the whole ring and start moving it up and down, you see it's very difficult. It's like actually I I'm not keeping the shape. I'm breaking it. I could try to move a little bit like this, a little bit like this, and so forth. But it's going to be quite annoying to do that. Another option, what I can do is just create another edge loop here and then delete this one so I keep the shape. But you also have, uh, just a second, mesh tools. You should have slide edge. So with slide edge, if I double click on the edge, nothing actually happens. But you saw it already told me. You use the middle mouse to drag. And you see what it does? It tries to keep, it, it slides your edge across and tries to keep the shape. 